want to scan networks without getting caught, I'll show you how to use Nmap in order to confuse SOCs with fake IP addresses, bypass firewalls with setting your own scanning ports, and finally generating a professional report of your scans. So let's just dive into it. Let's start with Nmap. Here, at first, I'm going to mention sudo nmap dash s. This small s stands for scanning. We have different types of scanning with nmap. The first one that I'm going to use is capital P, which stands for pinging. And I'm going to give my range of IP addresses here in order to just understand what IP addresses are available in my network, what IP addresses are online in my network. So let's just see are the results here i have gotten this one which is actually my router i have gotten this one 158 which is for my kali linux so it's my own ip address and also i have gotten this one 116 which is for my virtual box which i have turned it on on the left side which is actually a dc so Let's just go a little bit further with nmap. The other type of scanning which is so useful is called capital T, which stands for TCP. And it's type of scanning that we call it full scan. And in this type of scanning, nmap is sending SYN to the target, receiving SYNAC, and finally it is going to send ACK to the target. When this three-way handshake gets completed, nmap infers that the service is on and is open on a target system. So that is what exactly is happening in the background. And I'm going to right now give this target IP address here, which is 116. Before um, running this command, I'm going to use my Wireshark in order to capture the traffic and intercept it and actually get an understanding of what exactly is happening in the background. So I'm going to add a filter here, which is called IP SRC source. My source IP address is 158, my Kali Linux. And I'm going to give also destination. So the destination is here is 116, which is my destination and it's my target. And I'm going to start capturing the traffic. Fantastic. Now we can just hit enter and see what exactly is happening in the background. So here, as you can see, we have gotten this reset and by default, Wireshark is only showing the first and the last packet of any communication. Because of this, I'm going to click on it, right click on it. I'm going to go to converse, conversation filter to TCP in order to see the full communication between 158, my Kali and the target. So as you can see, my Kali is sending scene to the target. Target is sending me CNAC and finally, um, I'm sending to the target ACK. And according to this reason that my nmap does not really want to send any data to the target is going to terminate the communication and the connection by sending reset. So that is what exactly happening in the background. But this type of scanning has a lot of problems. And the big problem of that is that a lot of firewalls, they are used to these three, actually four packets that are um, that are being sent between the source and destination and they know that whenever we have seen synac ack reset ack it means that somebody's scanning us so this is a signature for them and they're using the signature in order to block this type of scanning in order to bypass those firewalls we can change the type of scanning that we implemented let's see actually the result of our mmap here so this was the type of scanning full open scanning is called the three way and the three we handshake gets completed the result of this is ports as you can see on the left side the state is open so it's not filtered there is no firewall in between the service also is mentioned here so that is the result of this type of scanning but in order to make this type of scanning a little bit better in order to bypass those firewalls that i mentioned let's just use capital s which is half open scanning which means that nmap is going to send sin receive sin ack but it's not going to complete the 3 way handshake it's not going to send ack finally it's just going to send reset so that is what exactly we want and let's just hit enter but sorry let me just stop this 
I wanna I want my water shark to be ready okay so let's just hit enter here we are and here we have the packet so conversation filter and tcp here we are in this type of scanning my cali is sending only sin the target is sending sin act to us and then finally we're going to send reset to the target so that is what exactly has changed there is no full three-way handshake and with this way and method we can bypass a lot of firewalls also you can see that the result of this type of scanning this half open scanning is not different from the previous one we have still the ports the state and services but let's just go one step further because we need also the version of the of the services so in that scenario we need to add capital v in order to grab the versions also we might want to understand what type of os the system is so in that scenario we have to use this capital o and not only that but we might be in a scenario that we want to choose our source port by our own so in the previous type of scannings as you can see here the source port was kind of random number for example here is 51646 which is kind of random if we are in a scenario that our target organization is blocking this random port then what we can do we can just tell nmap in order to choose another source port so in this scenario i'm going to mention dash g53 in order to use the 53 as my source port and the reason that i'm using this port as my source is because of this that if the target organization is open to internet for sure there using dns and for sure they are not blocking 53 because of this i'm mentioning this as my source port also i can use another useful switch which is dash capital d and rnd2 what exactly this will do so it will just tell nmap in order to create two random ip addresses source ip addresses so what exactly is going to do for us as you know here if the blue team are watching the traffic they notice that there is only one source ip 158 which is scanning 116 so they can really easily distinguish us and block this source ip but as a tactic for us that we can use in order to make this task a little bit difficult for them we can create two other random source ip addresses so in this scenario the blue team they do not deal with only one 158 but they're dealing with three different source ips so let's see how exactly it works in a real scenario i'm going to use my wireshark here in order to show you also so i'm going to use this filter right now i'm going to hit enter let's see what exactly is happening in the background okay so here what is happening is as you can see something has changed here and if i wanna go to this conversation you can see that Kali linux is sending the sin to this 116 but something big is has changed and that is the source port source port right now is 53 as i just mentioned but that's not the only thing that has changed let me just mention ip tst 192.168.1.115 as my filter and i'm going to hit enter you can right now see that there are three different ip addresses source ip addresses that you're dealing and interacting with the target one of them is 158 which is my cali there are also two other source IP addresses, 141, 127. There are two other random IP addresses that I just told Nmap to create with, with this one, with dash D RND2. So the source port 53 and two other random IP addresses. That is what exactly happening right now. So, and also according to this reason that we are using dash V, we are getting this column of version. So the version of the services are mentioned here for us. We are also getting information about the operating system, which is down here. So I can see 
for 95%, the Nmap has just figured it out that Microsoft Windows Server 2022 is on a target system as an OS. So that is what exactly happening. But it, we are not only limited to this type of scanning, which are all TCP, we can also use uh, capital U, which stands for UDP. So no problem, everything is just uh, fine. We can only use UDP in order to figure out what kind of UDP services are running in a target. There is also this option available for us. Let's see what exactly is happening. So Teal is just do it's doing its task. Let me also open my terminal. Um, the final thing that we might wonder to do, and that's kind of useful thing with Nmap, is how exactly are we going to provide a report of all of this information? So for that, Nmap has a switch, and that is... I'm going to mention it here. That is, so if I'm going to use half open version operating system, for example, the source board 53, the target 192.1, uh, make it a little bit big, bigger, 192.168.1, 116. And um, I'm going to use also two random other IP addresses. You can change it to three, four, any. And uh, finally, I'm going to tell Nmap to please give me an output and capital A because it's going to give me output in three different extensions. One extension is dot Nmap like this. What are other one is G and map grabable like this. And other one is XML. So like this, I want all of them because of this, I'm going to only mention capital A though. You can just mention G for grabable one and for N map and X for XML. I, I want all of them. So I'm going to mention all a capital A. So, and I'm going to give it a name to that file. I'm going to say nmap with to and scan. So that's it. I'm going to hit enter. The previous one was kind of laggy, but no, no, actually, because we're giving it two different functions too. So it's not really um, fast for us, maybe. But this capital U is just trying to do it with the uh, UDP. And I'm going to just delete these ones just for the purpose of demonstration and yeah it's now faster i guess yeah so here as you can see we have gotten these ports 88 and yeah they're all by the uh, they're all udp by the way so 389 is both on UDP and TCP. The states is open and we, are, we have also the services. That was the UDP version of the scanning. But let's just move on to this one. So here, uh, Nmap has done its task perfectly and it has created this Nmap scan file for us. So we can just see it. Let me just cat Nmap scan.nmap. This extension is just not so different from the thing we have already seen actually but um, this one is grippable all of the information is in one line so as you can see it's like this but uh, the thing which is so useful is actually xml one so what exactly we can do with this xml um, we can use a really great tool called XSLT proc, we can give a file to this XSLT proc, which is XML file as an input, and we can tell it to please give us the HTML version of that. So in that scenario, I'm going to give nmap scan.xml and I'm getting the output of nmap scan.html. So and hit enter. And now we can just use Firefox in order to uh, see our report and here we are we have gotten a really beautiful report here so it says nmap scan report at this date scan summary it says that you have used these arguments so yes of course half open version operating system source port everything is available here good and also it is the target that we have scanned 
the address is this the mac address also it says it's virtual box and we have gotten this beautiful table telling that these are the report these are the ports and they are open the state what else the service everything else is available also it has a part related to the operating system detection so microsoft windows server 2022 for 95 percent that was this i hope that you have enjoyed the video if you have don't forget to subscribe to the channel